People are rushing to the movie theater again in Wilmington, North Carolina, but it isn't to see a film. Instead of buying tickets, they're picking up medical forms and getting their COVID-19 vaccinations right in the theater lobby. Here to share the success of this unlikely partnership, Dale Coleman, Vice President of Stone Theaters, and Mike Melroy, Pharmacy Director at the New Hanover Regional Medical Center. I love this concept, what you both have been able to do. Thank you both for being here. Uh, Dale, I'll start with you. How did it come about that one of your theaters is now a location for vaccine distribution? Well, good morning. Thank you for having me. Um, I got a call, and I believe it was the first part of last week, from our general manager, Steve Sherwood, and laid out a, a request that New Hanover Regional had reached out and asked uh, um, if there was a, a possibility that they could utilize our facility as a vaccine site. And as Steve and I talked through it, and, and uh, it, it occurred to me more and more very quickly that, that movie theaters, our theater facility certainly, but um, movie theaters in general are a, are just a perfect setup to to uh, be a vaccine site with the uh, large amounts of parking, uh, spacious lobbies that can accommodate several vaccine stations, uh, large corridors with auditoriums for seating uh, to to monitor the the good folks in Wilmington that are that have had their vaccine. It it, uh, uh, it just made total sense to me. So I got on the phone immediately with our owner and CEO Herman Stone um, and, and went through it with him. And uh, it, it took him about a minute to realize that uh, um, this was something that we certainly uh, wanted to do. We wanted to donate our facility and help in any way that we could. And not only that, but we'd yeah. like to roll it out yeah. to, to our other theaters as well. Yeah, you know, Mike, if you look at that imagery that we just showed, it looks like a very efficient system, but tell us, is it efficient? Is it working? And how does it compare to the ability to, say, vaccinate people in a hospital setting? Yeah, thanks, thanks for the question. So uh, it is efficient. And uh, like many hospitals, we had set up a, a vaccination clinic in a, in a part of the hospital that, that wasn't currently being used at this time. And pretty quickly, we were able to figure out patient flow. And we started with employees and, and things along those lines. And so we, we, we had a pretty efficient and safe way to administer these vaccines uh, but we knew as we wanted to, to really make uh, the vaccines available for our community um, we knew that we had to have a bigger space and so when we started looking around um, at what was available uh, we were able, we were very fortunate to have connections with steve at the point here in wilmington and uh, we basically scaled up the operation that we already had that was really successful to really fit this setting and it's and it's really been a huge success uh, we're able to vaccinate um, a, a great number of people uh, safely and efficiently uh, with relatively um, low amounts of, of, of staffing. And so it's really been a, it's been a, it's been a great success. It's been a great partnership for the community. Yeah, it, it's fantastic to see. It's an idea that many would not have thought of, but I'm hoping that this partnership sets an example for so many around the country who may look at their own spaces and say, well, maybe we can help get everybody back on their feet a little quicker. Dale Coleman, Mike Melroy, thanks for being here, both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very sure. much for having me. Of course.